when it comes to native colour, people will often think of kangaroo paws, grevilleas and flowering gums, but we also have an amazing array of annual wildflowers that put on a cracking spring display. A while back, I was lucky enough to travel to Dal Wallanyu, a couple of hundred k's northeast of Perth, to experience a landscape that was absolutely covered with West Australian annual wildflowers. They germinate with the autumn rains, grow over the winter and flower into spring. And when the season's been a good one, like it has this year, well, this is the result. They were absolutely stunning and well worth the trip, but you don't have to go bush to see them. You can grow them and admire them in your own garden. And you can even grow them in and amongst other plants, like here. Now's the perfect time to plant them as the weather cools and they'll be at their best for spring. The main thing to consider to start off with is they do like plenty of sun. A bit of dappled shade's okay, but ideally, the more sun, the better. To start with, I'm gonna rake back the mulch to expose the soil. Now, if you've got any weeds or spent plants, then make sure you pull those out as well. And the trick here is to ensure that there's at least 500 mil belts and clearings so there's plenty of room for the new plants. Next, I'm going to break up the subsoil using this hoe so that the roots of the germinating seeds can establish with minimal fuss and competition. Okay. Any bits of sticks like this and a few bits of root, just pull those out and get rid of those to create a nice, clean sowing bed. Right, this area is prepared for planting. You can see that the bedding is nice and consistent. Now, I'm lucky here, because it's sandy soil, it's really easy to work. If you're on heavier soil, you will need to put a bit more into it. Now to the seeds. These are classic pink and white everlastings from last season. And I'm harvesting around three grams of mature seed to plant into the three square metres of garden. Sowing the seed directly like this can be tricky because it can blow away and you're also less likely to get nice uniform germination. So instead, I'm gonna mix it in with some sand. Now this is sand straight from the site. It'll also need a bit of a feed as it establishes. So I'll add three handfuls of organic fertiliser. That's around one handful per square metre of planting. Mix that through thoroughly so it's nice and blended. And then it's ready for the garden. I'm casting the mix evenly over the prepared bedding and then giving it a good tickle in to make sure there's contact between seed and soil. These everlastings commonly occur in inland WA. To find out what's best suited to your region, check out the Gardening Australia website. Finally, a gentle watering to settle it in. And if you have non-wetting soils, like we do here in Perth, it's a good idea to apply a wetting agent to make the most of any autumn and winter rainfall. Right, maintenance tips. Well, basically, grow them like you would do any other direct sown annual. Prevent weed competition. Give them a feed a couple of times through the growing season to have them looking at their best. And as far as watering goes, well, ideally, they'll grow on rain alone. But if you have a dry spell, give them a bit of top-up watering. Well, there you go. A simple little project that'll bring some wild colour to your place.